So my involvement early was being at the early meetings, and then I was appointed the first uh, sports information director or conference publicist. Actually, I think the conversations began um, closer to 1984, 1985. In the final analysis, we were down to about 10 schools that were meeting, um, and we would usually meet at different locations, but often at ECAC meetings. At the end of the day, after you know months of meetings, we ended up with six schools that all happened to be public universities. Uh, so we started a basketball conference. I think there were a number of factors for the, for the six of us. One, um, we were all like institutions. So, you know, we had a, a number of things in common. We were, we were public uh, institutions of higher education. We had similar philosophies. We had similar f facilities. Um, we were similar in size in those days, uh, much, much more similar than we are today. Daryl White came up with the idea of the Little East and uh, uh, as a possible name, and at that time, the Big East was in its heyday. Um, and so Daryl uh, contacted Dave Gavitt to get permission uh, for us to consider using the Little East, Little East name. Their picture and, and image of what the conference was going to be was probably bigger than what other conferences were like. Uh, I had this bright idea. Picture this now. Here's the address and the name of the Little East Conference up on the left-hand corner of the envelope, but with a magnifying glass up over it to make the conference look a little bigger than it was. I shared this wonderful concept with the other athletic directors and they laughed me out of the room. Uh, when I heard that, I was, uh, I can remember when he said that, you know, the Little East Conference, holy shit, gee, that was pretty damn good, I like that. They were very strong that the Little East Conference did not did not need any artificial magnification. And they were right. There's nothing about our conference that's little. We're not little in scope, we're not little in stature, we're not little in competition, we're not little in winning. We're a very, very big conference. And, and we gotta get that out there because that helps us all in recruiting uh, that kids are gonna come here because it's a very, very good conference with great competition. The NCAA was emphasizing, uh, beginning to really heavily emphasize more regional play over uh, national players related to eligibility for championships and getting bids and that kind of stuff. So I think those were some of the critical factors. One of the strong points about the Little East is that the, uh, the athletic directors uh, have always made an effort to, uh, uh, to put the experience of the athletes first. And truthfully, sports information, a guy like Bob Malta has played a huge role in this conference with everything he's done. Bill Gathright at UMass Dartmouth before he unfortunately died very early. Those guys are the backbone of this conference and really helped to keep it moving forward, helped to shape it, helped keep the values and the ideals that we have and the things that we do for the students on a regular basis. The beauty of the Little East Conference is that it is founded on like academic missions of public institutions in New England. And I think that's led to the Little East stability. These are member schools that have been together for a long time. I'd like to think it's what Division Three started out being about, was founding conferences that, that shared an academic mission and a vision for their athletic department that, that could make them be good members together. Um, we were still pretty much all committed to the ECAC as our umbrella conference, but it was wonderful to have this basketball and the basketball rivalry. Um, and then, uh, again, as conferences became more important, it was such a natural thing to expand to other sports, which is what we did. I can't imagine where this program would be if we did not if we were not accepted as a full-time member in 1993, it would be extraordinarily difficult. Um, we, we gained instant credibility, so we were embraced by uh, other schools, and we became the model for other schools. Well, the LEC in 30 years, um, you know, I think at some point someone got it right, um, you know, to, to uh, develop this small conference, um, public institutions, you know, like-minded, philosophies on their own campuses and then to come together and endure all the challenges of you know, the changing landscape of athletics um, and, and to still you know remain true to their you know the core mission. What made it work is um, 
the personalities of the athletic directors involved. Um, it was a group that had uh, a number of strong personalities, but a number of really, really good athletic administrators who got along extremely well together. And I think the Little East is considered still one of the stronger conferences out there.